and we are opening up yourselves to a world of possibilities, plus saving money by planting perennials instead of annuals into your hanging baskets. Those details coming up next. Stay with us. You're watching BT Live from Phoenix Perennials. Yeah, what a perfect day to be out here at Phoenix Perennials. And you said we're going to save some money. What? We're planting perennials instead of annuals into hanging baskets? I know. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> well, perennials are really flexible. There's all kinds of them, and they can do all kinds of things for us. So not only do we have these cool moss uh, baskets for planting in, but we can plant perennials in them. So you just really, you know, when we do it, we just kind of pop the plant out. I kind of partially bare-rooted this already, but you just uh, remove a bunch of the soil. And we're just gonna. And there's little uh, holes there's in there. There's little holes in there already. And this is a little too big, but we're just gonna basically stuff them right in the holes. And then. Um, and just then, like uh, that. Just like that. And so, Gary, you've got lots so, of different varieties in this one here. So, I've chosen some thyme, some bugle weeds, and some other perennials. And so, we've got them all around the sides in these little holes. But we need a crowning glory perennial right on top. So, what kind of options do we have here? We've got a fuchsia, we've got this really pretty uh, hakone grass, and then we have a coral bell. So, I'm going to choose the fuchsia. There you go. And uh, you've already got it basically. So, what did you do? You put some soil so in. So, I've got soil in there, but now there's a space big enough okay. for this pot. And now you get to get dirty. I and make a big to, mess all over the go. place. And so, do I have to shake it out or anything? Or is you it don't have to good shake to it out. We've got enough okay. space. So really, you're just going to pop it right in. Just like that. And then, to, for proper care, just water it. The we whole add thing. a little bit of fertilizer. We put a little bit more soil in there, and boom, we're off to the races. Very cool. And of course, people can learn how to do this very thing here at Phoenix Perennials this weekend. If you want to register for this class, you can go to phoenixperennials.com. Thanks, Gare. Yeah, and we're hanging out with the guy who knows gardening. We've got Gary here. And coming up next, we are, what, planting succulents? Succulent containers. Succulent containers, live from Richmond. Stay with us from Phoenix Perennials. We'll be right back. Hey, very quickly, Riaz, you used to have a pet rock, didn't you? Sprinkles, yeah. Sprinkles, okay, yeah. check this out. This is, what oh. is this called, Gary? Oh, a living rock. A or? living rock. Mm -hmm. It's a succulent. It's alive. It grows. It comes from the deserts of Africa, and uh, it's one of many cool succulents we can use in containers in the garden or the patio. So if someone's going to have a pet rock, it's better to have one that you can have actually water one. and go, I love you, and it keeps you very yeah, nice. Yeah. Yes, that's you right. talk to it, and it might hear you. <laughs> oh, we got a big loud plane, of course, right now, so hopefully people can hear us. We are talking about succulent containers. Yeah, exactly. So succulents are diverse, they're colorful, and they're really flexible. So you can put them in all manner of different containers, like these uh, Semper Vivum, these hens and chicks. You can put agaves and uh, little Luisias and little sedums uh, in these hover dishes, for instance. You can do all kinds of different things. Or you could also plant up your own. Oh, okay. So we've so, got our pot ready to go. So we've got a cool pot, and we have a whole bunch of succulents, and I chose these before you came. All right. But uh, generally speaking, we would just uh, start choosing some and then placing them in there to see if we've got a good design. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to design first. So rather than take this off, it's always good to sort of figure it out ahead of time, right? You can place things first. Yeah, so we can yeah, see if everything sort first. of melts. Now, when you talk about uh, the succulents, there are some that you can leave outside all the time. There are others that you need to bring in exactly. when it comes so to the colder weather, most right? Most of the ones we're using right now in our cute little container that we're building will not survive outside, but they can come inside as an easy house plant for the winter in a bright windowsill. And best way to take care of succulents? Are they pretty straightforward to take They're care of? They're pretty easy. At okay. this time of year, you don't have to worry too much. You can give them lots of water and they will happily grow. In the winter, you just need a bright windowsill and you pull back on the watering. Excellent. Well, if you want to learn how to do this very thing, there is an upcoming workshop regarding succulents. Uh, for more details, you can go to phoenixperennials.com and Michelle, come Coming up next, uh, right about uh, 7.50 or so, something very unique. We've actually brought David Wolowidnik, who is the bar manager from West. We are going garden to glass, making cocktails with things that uh, come right from your garden. Hmm, I like the way you work there, Don Chube. Yeah, not just gardening. We're talking cocktails as well. Yes, from garden to cocktail with West's David Wolowidnik here at Phoenix Perennials. We're going to show you how to make cocktails with things you can grow. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Like there's a way to work a cocktail into a gardening segment. Leave it to Gary. Mm -hmm. See, they think it's all me. This is your idea. This is my idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why not? Good food from your own garden. Taste the best. 
turn it into a drink for hanging out. I gotta relax at the end of the day too, right? And we're gonna be working with what? So, um, so we're working with this really cool basil. It's variegated, it has black stems, and it branches really freely, and it's called Perpetual Pesto. Excellent. And this is just uh, one of the many things people can learn at an upcoming Garden to Glass workshop happening here at Phoenix Perennial. So who better to talk the cocktails than David Wolowitnik from West? What are you going to yes. make making right now? Well, and the fragrance off of this is amazing. It is. Right? Beautiful. And I'm going to utilize the basil along with some uh, elderflower liqueur that I've made, um, a little fresh lemon, and just a little bit of sugar syrup. And that's it, with some gin. And then we'll garnish it with a little um, tomato, not tomato, sorry, strawberry, um, because it'll just add to the flavor flavor as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this basil, kind of crunch it up a little bit, measure in. And you crunch it up to release the aromatics, Exactly. Right? We're going to shake it and the ice is going to do pretty much the same thing. So a couple ounces of gin. We're going to take a little bit of lemon juice, say like three quarters of an ounce. We're going to take a little bit of elderflower liqueur, which during the workshop I'm going to talk a little bit about elderflower liqueur and how easy it is to make it yourself, um, although there is a very short window each spring where elderflower is available. A little bit of sugar, not much, just a little bit just to balance it. Now, who wants to do some shaking? Oh, Gary, you do one shaking, okay. and so we'll get this thing poured right away here for more details on Phoenix Perennials. Look at this. This is quite the, uh, the duo here. And for details on the Garden to Glass workshop, which, by the way, happens on June 7th, you can go to phoenixperennials.com. Look at this beautiful cocktail. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious, and we're going to garnish it with strawberries and, of course, our basil. Doesn't this look great, Riaz? Oh, check this out. Like Hold that. on. Look at this. Ready to go. Wow. Which way does your garden grow? Take me to the garden! Take me to the garden! <laughs> Let's throw some basil in there as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. There they go. Cocktails, wow, gardening, good. and sunshine. That is a good morning in the live eyes. Here's a little tip, by the way. Uh, David Wallowindick from West did say that when you do make your drink with your herbs like a basil, let it soak in the spirit for a little bit to infuse it. That's just one little tip. We've got lots more coming up later at about 10 to 9 from Phoenix Perennials. And great job, Sunny. You know, you can incorporate your love for gardening and get your children involved with their love or passion for Harry Potter. We're going to show you coming up next on BT Live. Boom! from Phoenix Perennials in Richmond. Stay with us, we'll be right back. And for many, gardening is a magical experience, and we want to make that way for kids what could be their very first gardening experience. Exactly. You know, plants are magical. From a little seed comes plants that are beautiful or that we can eat. Like, that's magic in itself, but why not introduce that through Harry Potter? Which is a great uh, class that you have or a workshop happening this weekend at Phoenix Perennials. And, Kate, what a great way to get the kids involved. Oh, they have a really good time getting their hands dirty, learning a little bit about... Um, Botany and uh, planting up their own garden. Excellent. I'm thinking you got to have the accent to be able to do a Harry Potter workshop. Okay, go through oh. the, the quick version of what we're going to make here. Okay, yeah. Well, we're going to put in a Whomping Willow. And this is our Whomping Willow. We're going to pop it into the garden. We've already placed the Hogwarts Castle and the Forbidden Forest right here. So in goes our Whomping Willow right here. And we tuck it up around with the soil here. And then right next to the Whomping Willow, we're going to put in our Black Lake. Yes, right here. And then we're going to pop some, pop some stones around the Black Lake. Now, you've got everything from a spell book to wands as well, right? We do, yes. The children learn spells. And the spells are actually the botanical names for the plants that we're using. So we, I'm going to teach you a spell in a moment. Okay. I have a wand for you. Let's do the spell right now. Oh, okay. A wand for Gary and one for you. Okay. One for me. And what are we doing? And we're going to be saying two words. The first word is Rosemarinus officinalis. Rosemarinus officinalis. And there we go. For more details on the Harry Potter workshop that you can incorporate your kids into, Phoenix Perennials happening this weekend. For more details and to register, you can go to phoenixperennials.com. Thank you very much, Kate. Thank you very much, Thank Gary. You. From magic to cocktails, gardening is for everybody.